Hey y'all, it's Raj with EV365 and we're in the Lucid Air Pure. We've driven this down to about 6% state of charge. That means we've got about 26 miles of range left based off of how we've been driving um, and what the, what the guesso meter tells us. And so we're gonna drive over to a DC fast charger uh, with Electrify America. Lucid has a partnership with Electrify America. So you get three years of uh, free fast charging um, and it's plug and play. So we should be able to drive up, plug in and, uh, and just get to charging. We don't need to pull out the app or a credit card or anything like that. So we'll try that out as well. Um, and the Lucid Air, all the trims, um, is only one of a handful of cars right now that can accept up to 355 kilowatts of charging. So it is fast. According to the website for Lucid, you should get about 200 miles in about 15 minutes. Um, again, that's based off of how you drive and, and how the chargers are performing and things like that. But we'll, we'll see how it does and see how close it is to that. And, um, and so, yeah, let's punch in. Let's pull up the Navi and we'll look for the closest. Um, we'll look for the closest charging station. Yeah, we can just, yeah, you just pull up the Navi, pull up charging. Yeah, we've got the closest one here. See if we can see how many are ready. Um, yeah, it's showing charges, maybe one of one. Can't quite tell how many are ready, but we'll just head over there and- Head towards nautical circle. Yeah, there you go. We'll head over there and the, uh, the car is set to precondition as you're heading to DC fast chargers. So it should precondition. And we've been driving around a little bit this morning as well. So the car should be warm and be able to accept the charge the way it should. So we'll, uh, we'll hop back on when we get to the charger. All right, see you there. Hey y'all, just wanted to point out a few times in this video, you might hear me mention that the charging speed for the Lucid Air Pure is 350 kilowatts. That's actually not accurate. It's uh, 250 kilowatts. And I just got a little confused on the website. You know, they say you can charge uh, 200 miles in about 15 minutes. And if you read the small print over there, you got to scroll down to get to it. Um, if you read that small print, it says when connected to a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger and equipped with 19 inch wheels. Um, so we've got the 19 inch wheels. And what they mean there is that you've got to be connected to a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger to actually see that. 250 kilowatts of charge being accepted by the vehicle. So just wanted to clarify that. So if you hear me mention that the charging speed is 350 kilowatts on the vehicle, that's uh, it's actually 250. Okay, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, y'all, we're here at the Electrify America station in Round Rock in Texas, over here at the outlet mall. And we're about to get charged. Sorry for the noise, I don't have my mic today. So you might hear some cars in the background. But here we are at a 350 kilowatt station, so we should just be able to plug and play. Let's see. Got the charging port opening up right there. Just grab this off the dock. There's your CCS right there. Plug that in, and we're at 4%. So here we go, plugging it in. Click. Let's see what we got. It's connecting to the vehicle. Processing payment. Payment authorized. Okay, we should be getting charged here soon. Initiating charge. Welcome driver. We hit continue, zero, free charging. And it says, thank you for choosing Electrify America. And we're off to the races. You can see we're at 4%. Um, so that's about how long it took to do that communication and get started on charging. And let's see how, uh, let's see where we get to here on the charging speed. Right now it's, it's ramping up, so we'll see where it ends up. It's showing 80%, 80 minutes until we get to 100. We'll probably charge only up to uh, a little past 80 because then I know it'll slow down after that. So I'll check in once this thing gets up to speed. Um, 
Yeah, right now it's saying the car's requesting 37 kilowatts. Current charging speed is 27 kilowatts. Obviously, that's way below what we want. <laughs> but we'll check in. I'll see how that goes, and um, and I'll pop in when we're when we're kind of topped off on speed. All right. Bye. All right. So we're back in the vehicle. And you're seeing we're pulling about 28 kilowatts of charge. That is level two charging on a DC fast charger. Um, and it's got a note down there, charging power limited by the station. So we'll give this station a few more minutes. And if we don't see anything improved on this one, I'll hop onto another one and see if we have better luck. All right, y'all. So we moved over to another station. That one kind of peaked at 38. And there's only one other vehicle charging on at this entire charging station right now. So we really shouldn't be having these kinds of problems. So let's try this one out. Grab our handle again. Plug. All right, we got that plugged in. Let's see what we're doing. Connecting to the vehicle. Processing payment. Payment authorized. Looks like this one's moving a little quicker, at least as far as getting authorized. Maybe that gives us hope for the charging speed. I know they're not connected, but let's see. All right, free charging. Alright, here we go. Okay, this one is definitely pulling way more speed. We're already at 115 being requested. Past that, current charging speed 180, 186, 205. Okay, so we're up at about 204 kilowatts right now. You can see this station can go up to 350. Okay, we're still moving up. 247. So yeah, that was that was the charging station, and that's that's some of the issues that you do run into maybe sometimes with these fast chargers, these public fast chargers, particularly the non-Tesla ones, the non-NAX ones. So the CCS charging, which is what the Lucid is. Um, and like I said, eventually I think they will also offer access to NAX, but there's some work that needs to be done on both sides for that to happen. So yeah, we're pulling good speeds here. 244 requested, 234 being sent. So we're not quite up to the 350, but we're at least uh, much faster than we were at the other charger. And here we are at 10%. All right, so I'll check in probably about every 10%, maybe every five, and, uh, and we'll see how we're doing. All right, here we are in the vehicle. Um, we're at about 22%. As you can see, we're pulling 190 kilowatts. It's kind of fluctuating up and down between 190, 192. And we're getting about 14 miles a minute, which isn't bad. So we'll check in uh, every 10%. We're moving pretty fast here. So we're about to hit 25% anyways. But So we'll check in at 30, 40, 50, and so forth. All right, thanks. All right, we're just about to hit 30%. Still pulling, according to their gasometer, about 13 miles per minute, but we've added about 97 miles in, in a pretty short amount of time here. I'd say definitely less than 10 minutes. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, and right now we are we're seem to be slowing down a little. We're at 173 kilowatts of, of energy getting pulled now. So, um, so we'll check in again at 40 and see how we're doing. All right, y'all, here we are at 39%, about to hit 40. Um, and a couple of things I wanted to point out, we are sitting in the vehicle. We do have the air condition running. So I want to give y'all, as I do with the range test, just kind of more real life type scenarios. Um, you know, obviously most of the time you will be sitting in your vehicle or walking around, but you'll likely have AC running and things like that. So you're, so I don't think that'll impact the charging all that much, but just wanted to point that out. And we have slowed down a little bit on the charging speed. Now at 40%, we're pulling about 155 kilowatts. We have added 142 miles. 
according to the guessometer, averaging about 11 miles per minute. All right, here we are at 52%. We've slowed down to about 121. It was just showing 123 kilowatts hour of energy being pulled. And uh, we'll check in at 60. Okay, we just got to 60% and we're pulling 104 kilowatts of energy. And it's showing 55 minutes remaining to 100%. Uh, all right, so while we wait to get to 70, something I'm gonna do is change the charging uh, limit to 85% that way you get a better idea because right now it's showing 55 minutes to get to 100 um, but you know we're not going to go to 100 we'll go to 85 um, or at least a little below that and see what that does to our time yeah so that dropped it down significantly shaved off 35 minutes it drops you down to 20 minutes so what that tells you is that obviously all electric vehicles after 80 tend to slow down on their charging speed and that's just to protect the battery um so you know a, a bit of advice when you're fast charging is always plan to charge to 80 unless you just absolutely need to get to 100 for some reason um because otherwise at that point you're you're going to slow down to where it's almost like level two charging at um once you're past 80 so okay we'll tune in it we'll uh check back in at 70 percent Hey y'all, here we are at 69%. Uh, something I did for this last 5%, I put the vehicle to sleep to see if that did anything with the charging speed. And it didn't, we're, <laughs> we're down to 75 kilowatts. What that tells me is that, you know, when you're charging with the vehicle, uh, with you sitting in the vehicle with AC and stuff like that running, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Um, so be comfortable when you're charging and, um, and yeah, so here we are. This is essentially, yeah, there we go. We hit 70%, pulling 72 kilowatts. Um, all right, we'll tune in at 80 and then wrap this up. All right, y'all. So we're quite literally crawling to the finish line here on the charge. We're at, we're at 75%. Um, it's saying we've got about 15 minutes remaining to get to 85. We'll see about that. Uh, but we're down to pulling 49 kilowatts of energy. Um, now, with that said, the Lucid was still pulling a pretty fast charging rate throughout the the charge, and we we got plus 290 miles, you know, in about 30 to 40 minutes. So, you park, you go grab some drinks, go to the restroom, come back, um, you know, in 10, 15, 20 minutes, you'll have uh, quite a bit of range added on. So. All right, we hit 80 percent. Uh, added 303 miles approximately of range and are pulling 47 kilowatts. And I expect we'll start dropping quite a bit even more now that we're at 80%. So that'll probably be our last check-in. I'm gonna shut this thing down and maybe give you all some final stats and then I'll, I'll pull a graph together and talk through that. All right, y'all. So here's our charging curve based on the data we just pulled. And on the left, we've got the y-axis, and that's our charging power in kilowatts. And on the bottom, it's the x-axis with the state of charge and percentage. And what you'll notice right off the bat is when we plugged in, we did pull that maximum charging speed of 250 kilowatts. And then pretty quickly, maybe a minute or two into the charge, we started to drop at a steady rate all the way down to the end of the charge at 80, 82%. Now, if we continued on to 100% state of charge, we would have seen that same general slope trajectory heading to 100%. And Lucid has done this by design. Uh, Tom Malogny of State of Charge um, was able to do some early charging curve videos for the Lucid Air higher end model trims. Um, and those are capable of charging up to 300 kilowatts. So they had a very similar curve to this when plugged into a 350 kilowatt charger. Um, except it did hold that top end speed a little bit longer. But the reason Lucid has done this is because obviously at these higher speeds, the components, the batteries, um, and everything tend to heat up a lot quicker. So the thermal management kicks in pretty early and starts to drop it down at this steady rate. Um, and of course, if we plugged in at 150 kilowatt charger, for example, you could hold that rate flat across and you would hit right at about where 40 hits over here on the charging curve, you would hit that and then it would follow that same 
slope down that you see on here. Um, so Lucid's uh, approach on this is that hit that high end speed early, gradually dip down and you're still charging faster for that initial, you know, 30, 40% of charge. And then it's about the same after that. So that's why they went with this approach rather than trying to hold a, a steady top end speed like that. Um, now there are vehicles I have seen out there that do hold um, a flatter top end for a little longer, even at a rate of 250 kilowatts. But and so for this particular charge, we pulled in 77.6 kilowatts in about 43 minutes. So that's that's really good. And depending on how you drive, that's going to give you quite a bit of mileage back on the Lucid Air Pure. So that's the charging curve for the Lucid Air Pure. As you can see, you get that top end speed, although briefly. Um, you do get a pretty good charging speed all the way up to 40%. And then at that point, it's kind of similar to whether you were on a 150 kilowatt charger or a 250 kilowatt charger. So you can kind of plan accordingly. And one of the things Lucid did point out is that if you plug in a little, like say your state of charge is at 20 or 30%, if you plug in there, you will still get that top end speed for a little bit. And then it'll gradually start dipping down and eventually you'll meet this curve. So that's the charging curve for the Lucid Air Pure. And we hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. Put them in the comments. And thanks for tuning in. Hang loose, y'all.